today I'm going to be teaching a shape lesson based on sorting, making and describing shapes. We have previously done shape lessons, so this is one in a series um, of three units. So the children are quite knowledgeable about shapes, and they can name 2D and 3D shapes. Um, today we're moving that on. So there's a range of activities. Um, for the less able, it is a sorting activity looking at curved and straight edges. Uh, the middle ability are actually, they've looked at nets before and this time they're recreating them back into 3D shapes using everyday objects. And the higher abilities are actually going to be looking at right angles for the first time. There are 30 children in my class. There are 17 boys and 13 girls. And my TA, uh, Zakia Malik, will also be there to help support me. Um, there's a wide, very wide range of ability levels in the class. Uh, ranging from some children who are very able, more year three than year two, and then I have children who are very low level. The lesson today is very much based on the discussion that the children are having, so it's very important that I am going around the different groups and I'm listening to what they are saying. So I won't just be looking at the end product, it's not what's just recorded in their books, but it's the language they're using and the way they are going about their task. That is the success criteria. Today, we are going to have a think about the shapes that we have already studied so far, 2D shapes and 3D shapes. So when I put the projector on, I want you to be thinking of as many 2D and 3D shapes as you can and try and remember how many sides it's got, how many corners it's got, okay? Have a little chat with the person next to you, see how many you can remember. Sana, what can you remember? How many sides does the hexagon have? It's got six sides, Sophia. What is the Sophia like? It's like a ball, isn't it? Okay. And stop. Okay. Put your hand up. What can you remember? The heck? Um, um, a hexagon. Can you remember how many sides the hexagon's got? Wonderful. Uh, Zane Y. Say it again. Very good. And Amber? Triangle. Triangle, how many sides? Three. How many corners? Uh, corners. Very good. Uh, Sufian? Oblong. Oblong, very posh. And what's another word for an oblong? Can you remember? Uh, you can see why you said that. Who can help Sufian out, Aisha? A rectangle, very good. Okay, have a little look. Put your hand up if you've got some of these shapes when you're having a chat with your partner. Yeah, very good. So these are 2D shapes, they're flat shapes. What about those? Did you get any of those? Yeah. Yeah? Zainem, which one did you get? The sphere. The sphere. What's the sphere like? It's like a ball, isn't it? Okay, right. So that's good. We can remember our shapes, can't we? Yeah, we can remember the names of them. We can remember how many sides they've got. Have a think about the shape that is your maths table name. And see if you can describe it to yourself in your head, okay? Okay. Now that we've had a little refresh and we can remember those shapes, we're going to try and guess now my 2D or my 3D shape, okay? And I'm going to be using some of these special keywords. And these are our keywords that we're going to use in the lesson. OK, now let's have a look. Just before we go over the objective, let's have a little look at the words first. Can you all see the board? Yeah? OK, let's have a go. So we've got, you read them with me. 2D, 3D, corners, edges, straight, curved, right angle. OK, now that we've learnt all the shapes, we've done those in the last few lessons, we're ready to think about these words. Yeah, they're a, a bit more difficult, but I think we're ready, aren't we, to put them in our heads. OK, so, are you ready to guess my shape? Yes. OK, I'm going to give you some clues for my shape. And when you think, I've got it, draw it on your whiteboard. OK, you can draw the shape, or you can write the word, or you can do both. Ready? Try not to look at anybody else's board. See, see what you think. 
OK, Sophie, will you just pop the lights off for me? Ready? I am a 2D shape, so a flat shape. I have got three straight sides and three corners. What am I? If you've already drawn it ever so quickly, see if you can write it as well. See if you can remember the spellings. Very good, Sadia. Good. Excellent. See if you can write it as well. Just waiting for a few more boards. Let's have a look. Oh, I can see so many good answers. Star of the day, what have you got? OK, do you want to come to the front? Let's see. You're going to be my helper. Why don't you come and sit over there? Pop your things on the floor. Now, you've got to see if we're... Jordan, what did you say it was? What do you think the answer is? Triangle. Triangle. There you go, Yaya. You're going to have good. See if you can just rub this shape, the space there for me. Like this. See if you can move yourself to the side. That's it. And you're going to go like this and see if you can find the missing shape. That's it. Keep going. Jordan, does it look like a triangle so far? Yeah, if you can stand to the side a bit, my darling, that might be better. That's it. Or kneel down if you want. That's it. Jordan, does it look like a triangle so far? Yes. Oh, what's missing? Keep going. All the way round. Is he right? Like magic. What is it? Triangle. Very good. Happy with that? Yeah. Give me a thumbs up if you got that right. Wonderful. Ready for the next one? You just pop yourself there, darling. Okay. So Next one. I am a 3D shape. I have no corners or straight sides. I am curved. There's, a, there's some of our special keywords there. What am I? It'd be lovely if you can write this word, children, because we've used it a lot, haven't we? Oh, some of you are ever so fast. Three, two, just waiting for a few more. No corners, no straight sides, 3D shape. What do we think? Sophia, uh, oops, said the answer. Sophia? Sounds a bit like your name, that's why I said it. Shall we see if you're all right? Children, what do you think it is? Sophia. Sophia, shall we have a look? Mm, is it right? Yes. Shall we see if we can find a picture of one? Oh, what can you see there? A ball. A ball. A ball's a sphere shape, isn't it? Give me a thumbs up if you got it right. Very good. I'm going to go through the next one ever so quickly. Are you ready? I am like a tube. I have a circle at the top and a circle at the bottom. What am I? So I'm like a tube. Have a think. If it's like a tube, is it 2D or is it 3D? Have a think. Think of the name as well. Have you got the name ready? Your picture's very good. Have you got the name ready? Mm, can you think of the name? Oh. Mm, heck, what's your guess? What do you think? You think cylinder? Sadia, what do you think? Who else thinks cylinder? Shall we have a look? No. Oh. What is it? Cylinder. Give me a thumbs up if you got it right. Very good. So, children, you can really remember all your shapes, can't you? Yeah? Okay. Can you put the lids on your pens then, please, Sofian? you just pop the lights on for me? OK. Just pop your boards and pens down so I know that you're listening. You OK, Aisha? Yeah? Just, just leave it now. Well done, children. You did ever so well. Miss Malik, how did your children do there? Good memories there as well? Wonderful. OK, right. Let's get started on our main activity, children. Now, we've had a go at that, haven't we? Guessing my 2D and 3D shape. Easy. No problem. Our main objective today is we're going to be, some of us are going to be sorting some shapes out. Some of us are making, making some shapes and some of us are describing. describing shapes. Okay, so it's going to be a very busy lesson, isn't it? Let's find out what we've got to do. Okay, each group you've got a couple of different things to squeeze into this lesson, so we've got no time to lose. Hexagons and pentagons, I'm going to send you off straight away in a minute. You're going to choose three shapes that are on your table, 2D or 3D, and you're going to describe them in your book using the clues like I've done or using some of the keywords. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah? You're going to do that again today. All right? Just refresh our memory, see how good your clues are. So hexagons first. Can you drop your resources in and get started? Miss Manick's children, if you want to move over to your table.
and pentagons. Very sensible. Well done, children. OK, squares and triangles. You've got some flat boxes on your table, OK? And you've got to make them so they are 3D again, OK? So you choose the box that's on your table, any one that you want. There's sellotape there, there's glue there. You can work in partners if you want to or make your own, OK? And then I'm going to help you with some labelling in a few minutes. All right? So squares and triangles, drop your resources in and get started. Okay, are you okay, Abdi Samad? Have you got your book? Okay, just underline your work from yesterday and you can carry on straight away. Yeah, still writing about shapes. What, Asi, are you? Is that a cylinder? It is, isn't it? No, no, no. But I want three new shapes, please. Are you okay over here? So, it's on there. To sort, make, and describe shapes. You're right, Dizan. Run your nose. Okay. Underline your work from yesterday, then. And let's go. See if you can pick some different shapes from last time. All right. All right, Hazrat. Which one are you going to do? Hazrat. Are you helping Zain or are you doing your own? Why don't you get some sellotape or some glue ready for him? Oh, well, you're fast, Sophie. Okay. Okay. Are we okay? Are you working on your own or are you working in partners? Partners. You're going to work in partners. So, Salman, you could perhaps get some sellotape ready for Sana so she's ready. Which bit do you think you need to stick on first to make the box? You tell her. You tell her what you think. Where do you think the sellotape needs to go? Fizza, you and Amber, do you want to work together? Yeah, so Fizza, you could get some sellotape ready, couldn't you? Or some glue. There's some glue sticks there if you want those. There we go. You can get a couple of scissors if you want, Fizza, from the scissor drawer. Wow, very good. So what shape is that from here? Is it a cube? Now, what do we need for a cube? It's got to be a what on each side? A square. A square. So is that a square on each side? How could we check that all the sides are the same length? What could we use? Very good, Zane. Get a ruler, measure it. Is it a cube? Is it a cuboid? Let's double check. Look, look on your table. Do you think there's plenty of sellotape? Do you think there's plenty there? It doesn't matter, does it? Is it A? Can you get a couple of scissors for your table? So it is a, a cube. So you can get a label. Okay, you write a cube on it. Why don't you do that? And you can stick it on there. And then you need to label the corners and the straight edges. How many straight edges do you think there are there? You could put a little mark on there, couldn't you, as you count them? So you know that you don't count them twice. So have you written cube on there, Hazrat? So, Finny, you okay? If you need some scissors, you help yourself for the sellotape. Right, let's have a look. Fizza, which shape are you uh, describing? Which one are you describing first? Right, okay, what have you got? You read it to me. I've got face. Another face. Okay. You know when you said curved face, I thought you were describing this bit. What do we call the bottom bit, children? What's the shape word for bottom? Big. Is it face? It begins with butt. Uh, nearly the curve of the bottom. Do you know like when we have a pyramid and we say it's a triangular base? Very good. Base. So you could say your the base is a yeah. So when you say your face, I thought you meant this bit when you said the curved face. Yeah. Which shape are you describing though? Is that a semicircle base? You just want to use all those shape words, don't you? Let's have a look. I have three straight, straight what? Sides or edges. Make sure you don't miss any words out there. You're right, Izan. 
Okay. Dizan? Can you see if you can get one done, please? I have one. Has it got one face? Are you describing that cube? Okay, so if we're looking at the faces on there, because that's quite a tricky one, isn't it? Okay, show me one face that's all curved. That one there. And where's the other face? It's this bit here. Yeah, that counts as one face. And that's the other face. So how many faces have you got? Yeah, let's change that then. What about points or corners? Has it got any points or corners? Yeah, how many? Come on then. You okay, Sofian? Use the glue if the sellotape's too hard. Okay, hexagons, how many have you done? I have two. two. I have one. Two. I'm on my third one. Two. I'm on my third one. Okay. Okay. Hexagons and pentagons, I'm going to give you one minute to finish the clues. Okay, finish the one that you're on. We're going to move on to the next activity. All right, let's have a look. Read me one of your clues. I'll see if I can guess. I am. Um, That's a hard one. So you're 3D. Is that 3D or 2D? Oh, is it square? Then? What is it? I'm nearly close. You know the sides, is it too long and too short? Yeah, is it rectangle? Yeah. That would have been useful if you put that in, too long and too short. Otherwise you can get mixed up with the square, can't you? Yeah. Very good, okay. Grab another box, see how you go. See if that's gonna be a cube as well. Mm. I've done the two, I've done the two shades. It looks like a diamond. It does a bit, doesn't it? It's like, you know a square-based pyramid, if I hide it like that? It just looks like a square-based pyramid, doesn't it? But it's like two that have been stuck together, isn't it? Yeah? So there's lots of faces. And what are the 2D shapes that you can see there? Um, yeah, it's made up all from triangles. triangles. Yeah. So Sorry? Cool. Is it diamond? It looks a little bit like a diamond. It's like that, isn't it? Two big ones stuck together. Perhaps stick to the square base pyramid. Yeah? Let's have a look. Oh, that's good. I'm a 3D shape. I'm half a, half a circle or half a... What do we call the ball? That's it. We've done three shapes. Fantastic. Okay. Hexagons and pentagons, can you just pop your pencils down? Don't worry if you've not finished all three and come and sit on the carpet. Just leave everything as it is. Mac, you can leave your book on your table. Keep close. Okay, now, my two groups. You right, Sarish? Mm. How is that? Okay? Yeah? The more detail you put in your clues, the easier it is to guess, isn't it? Yeah? So you've got to make sure who used some of these words when they were doing their clues. Very good. Sarish, which words did you use? Corners, yeah. What about you, Izan? Any of those words? Sides, okay. Now, what we're going to move on to next is looking at right angles. We've had a little look at right angles, haven't we, before. Can you show me with your hands? Our little reminder for a right angle, do you remember? Yeah? It is like an L shape, perfect, yeah? An L shape, a right angle. So today we're going to be thinking about shapes and things around the classroom that have got a right angle, okay? Now to help us, yeah, we've got our right angle measurers here, and the space, from here to there is 90 degrees. Do you remember we talked a little bit about that last time? Yeah? So, if you can just take one past the rest on. Okay. Let's see. Let's see which shapes have got right angles on them. Everybody got one? Yeah. Okay. You then you okay? Okay, any spares just... 
Okay. Right, then we've got our right angle measurers. That's good. Okay, so we're going to have a look at some 2D shapes first and see if we can find a right angle. Now, we've had a little practice, haven't we, before? So I'm hoping you'll be able to spot the right angles now. Uh, who thinks they can put their right angle measure next to a shape and say, there's a right angle? Come on, Sadia. Come and show us. There's one there. So, can you remember the little sign that we used to show that a shape has got a right angle? Can you remember, Sadia? What is it? It's like a little square. So, will you show us? Show us where you've just put your right angle. Brilliant. Okay. How many right angles are there in the square? Deezan? Can you just quickly pop on here and show us all four of them? Marvellous. Whilst Dizan does that, have a look at the next few shapes. Yeah, yeah, you okay? Have a look at the next few shapes. Where are the right angles? Do all shapes have right angles? No. No, not all of them. So some of them won't, there won't be any, will there? Beautiful, you can just sit there. What's this shape, Abdi Samad? This is the one you tried to trick me on, isn't it, when you're doing your clues? Come on then. Use your right angle measurer. Can you come and show me where the right angles are? Okay. Use it first. Double check. How do we measure it? Fit it in. Very good. So there's one there. Yeah. Put it in. Any more right angles? Use your measure up. Show me. Does it fit that way? Flip it over. Have a look. Does it fit that way? Remember, it's got to fit inside the corner, hasn't it? Move it up a bit. Up, 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 yeah? What we want it to be is it's got to fit in the corner like that. Can you move it up a bit so it fits in the corner? Beautiful. Okay, right, put it in then. How many right angles in a rectangle? What do you think he's done? Four. Same as a... Same as a square. Does it go that way? That's it. You can flip it over, yeah, to fit the shape. How does it go? Does it fit perfectly on the corner? Do you want me to hold the pen? It's a bit high up, isn't it? Fit it so it's nice and cosy in this corner here. So what do you need to do? Move it back a bit. Up, 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 up. There you go. Can you see? Can you see from where you are? Yeah? There you go. Okay, we'll just do one more shape. Is there any shape that you can see that's left that you think, no way, there is not a right angle there? Wow, your hands are up straight away. Thank you, darling. Sit down. I'll just put the, the last one on. Fizzerem? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the hexagon. Is there any right angles? Does it fit perfectly? No. Does it? No. Here? No. So... No, there's none there. What about the triangle? No. Sam, will you just double check for us that there's no right angles there? It's got to fit nice and snug in that corner. Sana? Sana? Are you okay? Sure? Does it fit anywhere, Sam and G? No. Can you put a cross on there for me? G. Lovely, thank you. Sit down. So your job is now... Have a look at the shapes quickly on your table and as a group, yeah, sorting them out, one group that are, have got right angles and one group haven't got right angles. And if you're not sure, have a little chat with the people on your table, yeah, and they might be able to help you. Okay, I'm just going to give you three minutes to do that. Off you go. Take your measurers with you. Right, how are we getting on? You're stuck on that one. Have you seen this one, Sophie, and that they've done? It's good, isn't it? Right then, what do you need help with? Should I put you some sand tape? So what shapes can you see here? What shape's that then? Okay, is there any other shapes on your box? What do we call this bit here? Rectangle, good boy. How many rectangles are there there? Four. Hmm, it's a bit fiddly, this. Shall I cut, will you cut some scissors for me, Sophie, and I'll cut some pieces for you. Yeah, because what shape is that at the bottom? Square base. Hmm, square base. Oh, I love this 
get rid of this bit. It's tucked in your finger. Right, Shall we cut some pieces and stick it under the table? <laughs> you want them, Miss Molly? Do you want the cellar tape? There you go, that should keep you going. Shall I put it there? Oh, next time, right, get going. Is the glue not working, children? The glue not strong enough? Ask people over here. Saba, what do you think about that? Is that a right angle? It is, isn't it? Yeah? Because if I cut this in half, I went cut it in half. What shape can you see there, Sadia? One, two, yeah. Some squares, half. They have the four right angles, don't they? So this one, yes. Right then, how are we doing over here? Wow, very good. What paper have you got there, Asuka? The straight, and this is. What's this called? Curved. And you've got one minute on straight and the book is a right angle, yeah, because what shape is it? Mm, rectangle. Rectangle. Very good. Good boy, write it down. Excellent. That's right. What have you got here to help you? Got it there. Okay, how are we getting on over here? Which is your pile of shapes that have got right angles? Here. And what about these ones here? No. Definitely not? Miss, all of the big ones is... Big ones? No, they're not. Which one? Which one do you mean? These ones. You think there's a right angle there? No, but it means they're Okay, let's just double check. Okay. So it's got to fit nice and snug in that little shape there. Okay, if I hold it there. Can you see it doesn't fit? Because if I hold it that way, can you see, Zan? It's just overlapping. So is that a right angle? If you see, can you see an L shape? It's a bit too wide, isn't it, for an L shape? It's a bit like that, a bit too open. All right, so I think, I think you're absolutely right, children. I think all of these do not have a right angle. And all of these do, don't they? What about this basket on the front? Yeah, yeah. Is that it? Can you see anything around the classroom that's got right angles? Look. What? The board. The board. See if you can think of ten things in the classroom that have got right angles. You can have a look around the classroom, see, if, see what you can find. Yeah, what else? See if you can find ten things in the classroom. Very good, that's right. How's that? What shape is it? Cuboid. Very good. Excellent. What shape is it? Is it a cube or a cuboid? Cube or cuboid? Cuboid. Yeah, because it's got. Maybe. What's this shape called? Yeah, so get some labels now and you can label it up. Put some labels on, can't you? Yeah? Okay, hands up, everyone, please. Just stand still if you're not in your chair. Thank you. Very busy over there. Hexagons and pentagons, my heck. Listening? Okay. Children, we have got about four minutes left. Okay. So, the activity that you're on, I know, Miss Malik, you're happy with your group. Yep. The activity that you're on, I'm just going to give you two minutes and then you're going to do your final activity. Okay, so two minutes to finish the activity that you're on, then you're going to go on to your last one. Is that okay? We finished, we found ten things. You found ten things. Okay, come and sit down. Very good. Hexagons, let me have you back here then. Very good. Hexagons, come back. Wow, very good. Come and sit down. Salmon juice. It's 18 after 18. Girls, what about the door? Can you see any on the door? Okay, hexagons for your last job then. Okay, so you've done your shape, describing your shapes. You've looked at right angles and found lots of things with right angles. You still need your books. Your last challenge, and it is a challenge, is you're going to invent your own, shape. your own shape. So it can be the Farish shape or the Aisha shape. And it could be 2D. It I'm going to make it like a cheese. Is this the right time? What's it then? So, the yaya shape. So you have to think. 
Is it going to be a curved shape? Is there going to be lots of corners? Is it going to be smooth? Is it spiky? So in your book, I want you to call your shape whatever you want. It could be your name. It could be the Abdusamad shape. Okay. I want you to draw it and then I want you to describe it. You know how you described it before? So it's got five corners and all the rest of it. <laughs> That's funny. The Michael shape. Brilliant. Very good. Is it labelled? Yeah. The, yeah. Push, the two PP shape, yeah? No. Just where there's oh, the space. Sit yourself down, Sarish. Let's draw it. Okay. Yeah. Pentagons, can I have you back, please? Yeah. Very good. There's loads on there, isn't there? Very good. Come and sit down. Okay. So, Sabrina, come on. All right. Well done. So, we've described some shapes. We've looked at right angles. We've sorted them out. Your last challenge, Dizan is, and I've just got hexagons started on it, you're going to invent your own shape, okay? So your shape, it can be 3D, it can be 2D, it can have as many corners on it as you want, it could be straight, it could be curved. You can call it whatever you want as well. So you can call it the Mahex shape or the Dizan shape. Yeah, Abdi Samad's calling his shape Michael. That's funny, isn't it? Thomas. Thomas. We're going to have a shape called Thomas. Wonderful. So you, you can you draw it over here in your books, wherever there's some space. Okay. Have a think about it first. And then underneath, can you write me a little short description? How many corners, straight sides, curves? Maybe it's going to have some right angles in it. Okay. Sabrina, if it's straight, what do you think you might need to use to draw it? A ruler. Hexagons, don't forget to use a ruler if it's got straight sides. Okay. Yeah. Write a description of it then. Is it 2D, 3D? Very good. Okay. What I'd like you to do, okay, boys, just stop where you are now. Can you just put yourself down? Write me a nice description. Boys, just sit yourself down now. Okay, we're going to move on to the last activity. Let's see what we've got so far. So, what's this called? Cuboid. We've got cuboid. What's this? Cuboid. And what's this one called, Hazrat? Cube. Cube. Safin, have you seen the cube that we've got? Okay, just leave that there, darling. Just put that there. Don't worry about finishing it. Okay, the last thing I want you to do is in your books, okay, I want you to draw the shapes that you've made. Okay, so where's that coloured sheet of paper with the shapes, son? Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. Do you think this is the right time to go? Can you wait 10 minutes? Okay. Have a look. Can you find the shapes that you've made today? Okay, so that gives you a clue about how you can draw a 3D shape. It's quite hard, isn't it? So will you have a go for me in your books? I want to do the orange one. Yeah, so see if you can draw the shapes that you've made today. And I'll leave that on there. And see if you can label it as well for me, with your keywords. Yes, please. You can just, we'll just pop the number date in. And there you go. That's right, let's just check you in the right place. Okay. Okay. You haven't got long though, you've only got about three, four minutes. Tell you what, just put the number date in, okay, and get drawing your shape. How are we doing over here? Really good. Right, here's a. Tell me some of the shapes you found today. Circle, yeah. Rectangle, very good. And what about saying why? What have you found? What shapes? Have you seen any straight lines? Can you point to a straight line for me? Straight line. Yeah, good. Excellent. Can you see any other ones? I'm looking at the mirror actually. Can you see the straight line on the mirror? The mirror's got a straight line and a curved line as well. Okay, that looks like a rectangle to me. Shall we make it a bit more exciting? Asgar, what have you got there? Can you tell me some of the shapes? This is square and square rectangle. You know a square is the same all the way round, same four lengths. Do you think that's the same? Or do you think you've got too long and too short? Too long and too short. So what shape is that? Rectangle. Very good. Shall we make a little change there? And let's just make sure that the squares are just, you know, four equal sides. Ah! Very good. Are you right, Sarish? What are you looking for? 
Where should you be sitting? Yeah, I'd like you to sit down and try to write your description, please. Right, two minutes, everyone. Last two minutes. Right, can we draw your picture? Yeah. Can you just put some labels on it, like right angle, point, corners, all the way around it? Label it for me. You just heard what I've just said, you do it. Right, this group, let's have a look. See how we've done. What's that shape you've got there, Amber? Cuboid. Eh? A cuboid. Cuboid. Oh, yeah, I can see them in the corner, in the straight sides. Did anybody make a cube on this table, or are they all cuboids? Is that a cuboid as well? Yeah? Can you show me a rectangle there, Sana? There's a rectangle on your cuboid. Good, Salman, you can see it. Have you done a cube and a cuboid? Label it for me. Hmm? Well, I think we're going to stop now. Okay. Right, hands up, please. Mahek, well done. Izan, thank you. Fizza, eh? What am I waiting for? Thank you, hands down. Children, well done. You have been working ever so hard. Okay, we're just going to finish off in a moment. What I'd like you to do is... If you've been working in your book, just to close your books and put them in the middle, and then stand behind your chairs. Just leave everything else in the middle, please. Okay, stand behind your chairs. I've finished. My books are right angle. Mm -hmm. Close your books and put them in the middle. My books are right angle. All right. Right, best table is. I can see. Who looks ready? Fizz A looks ready. And is the start of the day ready? Just leave it on the table. We'll pack away later. Three, two, oh, circles. Beautiful. Okay? Right. Children, can I have you on the carpet, please? Leave your tables. Come and sit on the carpet now. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Children, leave your tables and come and sit down now. Hazra, Zain M, Sophia, come and sit on the carpet now, please. Lovely. Okay. Thank you. Brilliant. Children, do you remember we've played the Guess My Shape game before? And somebody's got to stand up and they don't know what shape they are. And you've got to just say yes or no when they ask you a question. Do you remember? We're going to use some of these words. Okay. So if you're the person at the front, you've got to try and use straight edges or curved edges, any of our key words. Okay. Now then, who can I choose first? Who's got a good knowledge of shapes? Hmm. Shall I choose Abdus Ahmad? Children, Abdus Ahmad invented a shape today. And what was it called? Is it Michael? Yeah. Fabulous. I know the Michael Jackson, a shape called Michael Jackson. Wow. <laughs> right, come on then, Abdul Samad. Up you get. Do you know what? I think you, I think you have really learned lots of things about shapes. Turn around, face the front. Actually, come and stand over here. There we go. Right, you can't look. No peeking. Shall I give him a hard one or an easy one? Hard. hard one. Okay. That's a hard one. Okay. You can pop your head down a little bit, darling. That's it. All right. Ask some questions then, and ask the audience. Has it got straight edges? Has it got straight edges? Yeah? Okay, ask another. See if you can do it in four questions. So one, three more to go. Is it, got, is it a 2D shape? Yeah. Okay, got two more questions left. Straight edges, it's a 2D shape. What else do you want to know? What about? Has it got sides? Yeah. What kind of sides? You asked about that. Why don't you ask about the number of sides or if they're all the same or... Why don't you ask if it's got four straight sides? Has it got four straight sides? Yeah. Right. So you're going to have to make a bit of a guess now, aren't you? You've run out of questions. What could it be? Pentagon. No. no. Four straight sides? 
Wait. Hard being under the spotlight. Come on. Rectangle. Rectangle, is he right? Yeah. Yeah, give him a clap. Very good. Oh. Yeah, you tried to trick me and I've tricked you now. Right, we'll have one more. Last one. Come on, Sadia. You've been working extremely hard. We'll give her a hard one, shall we? Yeah. Oh, is she? Okay. She'll be an expert then. Come on, stand over here. You haven't got the light in it. Uh, the hardest one in the whole world. Okay. Okay. Right. Go on then, miss. Ask your questions. Does it have corners? Yeah. Does it have a right angle? Yeah. Sit yourself down. Is it 2D? Yeah. No. Not 2D. I'll let you have one more question. So it's a 3D shape with straight sides and corners. Do you want to make a guess? Go on. Be dairy. Is it? Think of 3D shape with straight sides and corners. A cuboid. Oh, she was close. What is it? Thank you. Give her a clap. Very good. Sit yourselves down. Thank you. Well done, children. You worked really hard today. I felt the lesson went really well. I was very pleased with the children. And um, walking around and listening to what they were saying, uh, I got a real good feel for their understanding. I was pleased with the middle ability group, actually. Um, they worked very well. There was a group that worked with minimal adult support or intervention, and every time I approached them, I could hear fantastic shape vocabulary, and the work that they produced was of a very good standard. I think for a lot of lessons where the teacher is guiding them for most of it, I think the real treat comes for children when they can just carry out an activity on their own, and if they make a mistake, they've got to rectify it themselves. They've got to work more with the children that are in their group rather than having to put their hand up and ask the teacher what to do. So I think the real uh, pleasure for the children was being independent and showing me what they could do. If I was going to do it differently, I'd perhaps put some more challenging activities in for the more able, as they did very well today.